everyone. Um, I wasn't originally going to do this video and then thought, why not? Some people may want to know my secret ingredient to my pasta sauce. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, last night, I put together a big batch of pasta sauce to can. Um, it was the first day in a long time that it was actually cold. It went from 75 degrees down um, to 60 within an hour. Like, it was awesome. We had the windows open, and um, we wanted to heat up the house a little bit, but not turn on our furnace. So I was like, ooh, I'll can. Um, so I decided to do pasta because if you watched my um, last week's meal planning, you know that over the weekend I had a wedding and I made a ton of chili. Um, the people's wedding that it was, they bought all the stuff and they bought the pot, or the tomato sauce and the diced tomatoes all in the number 10 cans. And I had one sauce and one diced tomato left over. Um, and I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with the number 10 cans. Um, <clears throat> and then I was like, oh, pasta sauce. So that's how it came about. And that's what I'm doing. So let me show you what I have. Um, I let this cool down and I haven't pureed it yet, but I'm going to show you what's going on. <clears throat> oh, yay, there's a little light. Okay. So I have one number 10 can of just tomato sauce, one number 10 can of diced tomatoes. Then I have about two no I have three huge carrots um, I mean you can see how big the carrots are three huge carrots in here I have a bulb of garlic and then I have two large onions um, and then I put in the rest of my dried parsley so maybe <clears throat> three tablespoons of my home dried parsley um, I put in oregano to taste, basil to taste, um, just a tiny bit of salt, and black pepper. Is that all I put in? <coughs> yeah, that's all I put in. Um, and then I let this go for about three hours on a low simmer. Um, now this is my 20 quart stock pot and I have it a little, maybe just over halfway full. Um, so I'm hoping to get a full canner load um, that's bright. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll leave it on. Um, I'm hoping to get a whole canner load out of this. The first thing I'm going to do now that it's cooled off, I'm going to puree it. And then, um, we'll start loading up our jars. Now, um, usually when you pressure can tomatoes or a tomato sauce, I think it's, um, 20 minutes for pints and 25 for quarts. But we put carrots in this, so I'm going to up it to 30 minutes um, for quarts and 25 for pints because that's what you would do if um, you were canning carrots. So that's my rule of thumb in case um, you're ever wanting to do a recipe but you're wanting to add something that wasn't exactly in the ball canning book or whatever resource that you are using as a reference, um, go with the highest cook time for your ingredients. So, for instance, if you're wanting to make beef stew, potatoes only go for 40 minutes and tomato or carrots go for 30 minutes, but you put meat in there. So you're gonna have to do all your stuff for the 75 or 90 minutes because the meat's the highest cook time. So that's just um, a little quick reference. Uh, good to know, put up in your brain to remember for next time. So. Let's get this pureed, and then I'll heat it back up, heat my jars, and let's get to canning up some delicious pasta sauce. Alrighty guys, so let's get to canning up this beautiful marinara. Um, I pureed it all, I heated it back up, and it, oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, after I poured in all the jars in the beginning, I did fill them up with some water to swish around and get out everything that was in the uh, those number 10 cans. So there was added water to this, but it turned out, I mean, that's perfect. It would have been too thick if I hadn't put the water in. 
So I have my hot jars. Um, I'm doing pints today uh, just because I don't have um, lids to do any quartz. I have my vinegar and I have my rings and lids. Um, these are new jars. That's why I had uh, lids for them. Okay, so um, I don't have my funnel. I forgot my funnel. I forgot my thing, my little magnetic thing to get those out. Um, I forgot my debubbler, but I don't need a debubbler because it's liquid. So <laughs> I guess I did one thing right. Um, let me get something out so that I can look, baby, so I can get them out. Ah, okay. So find this. Now we need an inch of headspace. Oh, this smells so good. Um, and we will be doing it for 25 minutes. Um, no, 30 minutes. I'll be doing it for 30 minutes um, because we put carrots in it. And the great thing about tomatoes is they actually they get better the longer you cook them so it is perfectly fine to can canned items especially uh, tomatoes because they just get better for you they're good for prostate health um, and they're delicious they can withstand the cooking times it's just an all-around great great thing to have so I'm going to keep on filling up my jars and then um, hopefully, well, not hopefully, I will have at least one canner load. Um, I did bring my All-American, so hopefully I can fill it up, get one good batch in, and be good to go. See, I made a mess. Oh. That's why we do the vinegar. I'll show you our pretty pretty jar okay so there is our marinara mm -mm 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 -mm. so I'm gonna finish this wipe my rims with vinegar and um, after you wipe your rims put your vinegar leftover vinegar in your canner um, that way uh, your clar your clards your jars don't get cloudy um, and I know you don't have to heat up lids and rings anymore, but um, I just do it anyway. I'm a creature of habit. Uh, it won't hurt anything, so that's just how I do it. So I will bring you back for the finished product after 30 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure for my altitude. Alright, so I ended up getting 16 pints of um, my marinara plus another one and a half two quarts worth that's in my fridge and that is going um that's going to be dinner this week so i am super excited about all this this will be good if i want spaghetti or baked spaghetti or any kind of red sauce pasta um pizza it's just i'm so excited to have all this on the shelf so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed canning and subscribe if you haven't already so that you never miss out. And I hope to see you guys next time for another delicious recipe or canning video or DIY. Until next time.